Righty, we're looking at the bottom of the table in the championship. Who do you think is going to go down? Well, when you, when you consider, like, Charlton losing at home to Barnsley, Barnsley yes. at the bottom, you, you have to worry for Charlton. They're a bit I of a think. slide, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I'd be disappointed as well, Millwall. You know what I mean? I've got a lot of affinity for Millwall. It's the first yeah. place I ever watched the game when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want them to go down. They're looking like they might be all right, but... Well, we got a little bit of love for Millwall on this show, which is quite strange because obviously you used to support them. My granddad was a big Millwall. Fan I don't, you well. know something? I've got to clear it up. I, I don't know if I'm going to say I'd support them. And now that they're, they're precariously close, yeah, I was going to say. I, I, you, I look at them. I look and see where they are going. But I do worry for Charlton, Yeovil. But Millwall as well. have had a couple of good results of late. Yeah, they have. But let's. I mean, is it too little, too late, maybe? I mean, but Charlton, you look at them. Blackpool as well. Well, when you consider where Blackpool were, yeah, you know, not so long ago, um, and now. You know, they got rid of Incy. Hmm. You know, obviously Thomas Ince left off of the back of that as well, and they just seem to have slid way down. You, you, you do feel for them, but at the same time, it's, it all comes down to resources and money. And whatever people say, you know, the people with the most money will be at the top end of the league. Don't make, don't make no mistake about well, that. It certainly appear that. I mean, the Oval are down there. They're a, they're a fairly small side. Their chairman said recently something along the lines of, we're just happy to be here, to be honest. Is and that also, the attitude? Well, it's not the attitude. And they'll go into the next league and then he might say the same thing. <laughs> and then at some stage he's going to have to realise, well, we can't have that attitude if we are mm. going to be a football team that's trying to progress. And, um, you know, when, you, when you're saying we're happy to be here, how, as, as a player, you're addressing you, dressing, you think, oh, that's all right. Yeah. It's happy to be here. So we might play well this week. Then next week, if it doesn't go right, it doesn't matter because he's kind of happy to be here. You have to have something to drive for, you have to have something to, to aim for. It would be quite amazing if Yeovil did manage to stay up, but I mean, without patronising them, a small club like that, one division below the Premier League, is pretty amazing, really. It is, it is, it is pretty amazing, and, and this is why it's, it's even more of a damning comment for me from their chairman to say we're happy to be here because they've had such a, a rise mm. that all of a sudden you're not even in the top league and you say you're happy to be here. If you're in the Premier League, you say, well, you're happy to be here. And if you're in the, the bottom half of the Premier League and you're Yeovil, and mm -hmm. it's not a fashionable name, let's face it. No. It's not the name that when you, you know, if you are a Premier League player and you were going across the world and say, yeah, there's a football over there. And who does he play for? Yeovil. It's not glamorous. No, that's right. So if you can get to, so if you can get to the Premier League and then you say, you know what I mean, Yeovil have done brilliant to get there and you know, it's all great stuff, then that's fine, but you can't say that about the championship. And if they do go down, you have to say that it's the attitude of the club. Yeah, not glamorous enough, well, says you know, the man with the uh, glittery top over there. That's glam. 